I was asked a question the other day, when should I mount my spindle in relationship to my z-axis? Take the shortest bit you've got, which in my case is this one, it's an 8 inch bit. Put the littlest workpiece you'd work on, and that carves her on your bed. In most beds you have a spoil board, which is 3 quarters of an inch. To this I don't. So these bores are three quarters, so I'm going to want to mount this low enough, mount my spindle low enough, that when this is all the way down on the carriage, which it is now, it, that bit would basically almost cut through into the table. So as you can see, my spindle is too high. So what I'm going to do is loosen my bolts and drop my spindle basically one inch. So I'm going to move it up an inch. Actually, I'm going to move it up three quarters because I really don't want it to go through the bottom. I'm going to move it up three quarters and then loosen this and drop it so that bit just touches that surface. So that's how you tell. You want this as high as you can get it so you can mount your dust collection and your smallest bit to work on your work area. If you say, well, it doesn't matter, I can drop this all the way down. It does actually matter. If you've studied physics and you know momentums and all that, not momentums, but moment angles and leverage, the lower you have this, the more force this bit will put on the, your bearings. So, as high as possible and still work. That's the best way to do it. Good luck and have fun with your scenes. All right, so I've lowered it. And if you notice, I bottomed out there because I don't want to be able to go any deeper than this. So I'm right on the bottom and I'm right on the top of it. Just so if I did make a mistake and decide I want to go all the way through, it, it actually misses by a little bit. I don't know if you can see it. It's about an eighth of an inch higher. So that should give me some protection so I don't go through the board um, and allow me to carve out models without going through the board. And that's what this is for. I mount my board, center it, and then carve out a model. I'll show you that model later. Maybe I'll include it with this. But this is the finished piece that I was working on. You can see that there was a knot up there, and I set the model so that the knots appears in the model. Um, what I didn't expect is it to be heart shaped. It has a crack in it, like it's a broken heart. So it's an interesting the way it turned out and it's all ready to go. I've got to varnish it a few times and you can see that I've already put the hanging slot on the back. So it turned out pretty good. And that was using that new 1 8 bit that there cost about $5 a piece. So good luck and have fun with your CNC.